We're Nadia and Serena, LGBTQ YouTubers from Milan, Italy. We're an international couple and we love to travel. Join us as we show you some of our amazing adventures. At the heart of it, we're just an American and an Italian who fell in love and want to inspire others to be themselves. So, come along. and Serena wanted to show off a little bit of Italy and it's a really nice place. You eat well here as Serena says but you spend a lot but it is beautiful and worth it. You can actually take a boat to Bellagio yep. which is another cute little city. It's like a little hidden gem. Um, it's become more touristy but it is it's so worth it to Bellagio. I think I liked Bellagio better than than Como. Bellagio it's small. It's very small. Bellagio is really tiny, you can see that in a day. So if you plan a trip, like a day trip to Como, like you can actually include Bellagio. Or if you want to stay in Como for like three days, you can spend one day in Bellagio or even like half a day. Okay guys, we took a boat from Como to this place. Yeah. Come si chiama? Cernobbio. Yeah. And you can take this boat to like different places. Um, there's like four or five different little cities you can go to. And so we just decided to hop on and see what happened. And we've never been here before, so we have no idea anything about this little city, but it's very cute. <music> taking a little break it is very hot in Como like very very hot yeah. people do jump in the lake and yeah. you can jump in the lake but we like wouldn't recommend it personally I wouldn't do it personally but you can do it um, and a lot of people do do that they sunbathe here sunbathe I can understand but I wouldn't personally go in the lake um, it's just not very clean water but um, <laughs> no, no, not, clean. Not, not for us but anyways yeah. we're gonna continue walking and exploring we are so hot, so do not come in the summer 
It is really nice to come in the evenings in the summer, not during the day because it's too hot. <music> Siamo a Moltrasio, una zona del lago di Como. Eh, siamo, stiamo prendendo un battellino, un battello, una barca per arrivare a Moltrasio, Cernobbio e altre, e altre cittadine, però eh, se posso darvi un consiglio non fatelo, assolutamente. C'è poco da vedere in queste cittadine, vero? Sì, fai meglio rimanere a Como che vedi molto di più e ti guarda la città diversamente. Sì. Ok guys, we're at our next destination. Uh, we were just at Lake Como and now we are in Sirmione. And look at the background, it's so pretty. So we're on our way to the city center. This is like the historic center and uh, it is really sunny. It is always a very popular destination so you'll find a lot of tourists. Okay guys, we are in Sirmione. It is a little cute city in Lake Garda. Garda, sì. Yeah. And you can actually do a lot of things here. You can go inside the castle that's right here or you can take a boat ride. Yep. Um, they offer boat rides up in the front. We might do that later if we feel up to it. Um, people go in the lake. You can swim in the lake if you want to. Serena and I don't like to swim in lakes, but if you do, this is a very nice lake crystal clear waters. This is the perfect place to go if you have like a day in the lawn and you can actually do this in a day but you can stay at night. People stay here for a week or two. It's um, a beautiful place to visit. I'm going to show you guys a bit of Sirmio. Okay guys, so we just came to this little area where you can actually go in the water if you want to, but we're on our way to get some lunch. Um, we brought some lunch to have some sandwiches by the lake, but you can also go to the many restaurants they have here.
As you can see, despite coronavirus, it is very crowded here in Sirmione. Um, last time we came, it was just as crowded. So make sure you come early because parking is hard to find. Okay, so they say it's gonna rain. Yeah. Hopefully it doesn't rain because we didn't bring an umbrella. But yeah, so we're on our way to go get some views of Sirmione. We already showed you guys a lot of Sirmione. So hopefully um, you guys can come visit because it's a beautiful place. It is. It's one of our favorite places. Serena wanted to come here, or I wanted to come here on our first vlog, but it was just too far away for the time we had. Guys, as you can see, it's raining in Sermione, so... <laughs> Make sure you come on a day it's not raining, but it's actually really nice regardless, like the weather is still very hot even though it's raining, but it is what it is. So we're gonna go get something to drink probably at a restaurant yeah. so that we're not in the rain. We don't have our umbrellas or anything. So. Okay guys, the best lemonade is as soon as you enter into Sirmione. It is quite sour because they squeeze the lemons and they do not add sugar. So it's just fresh squeezed lemon. But it's really good. Lots of vitamin C. <laughs> so here they also have great spas. They have like thermal spas is what Serena said. And that is why people come to Sirmione. Yeah. There's like um, a hotel, at various hotels that, you know, have amazing spas. You can also just go to the spa without staying at a hotel. It's also possible. So it's, it's a great city to visit. You can see it in a day yeah. if you want to. You can also take day trips from Sirmione to Venice, to Verona, to Gardaland, which is a theme park, um, which we have also gone to. It's very fun. It's like Disneyland. Canaveral Ward. Oh yeah, Canaveral Ward, which is like, what do they have there? Water, yeah, like water. a water park. A water park. Yeah. yeah. That's it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed Lake Como and Sirmione. Sirmione. Um, I do recommend you visit both of them, but I, I think both can be done in a day. Uh, but they're both beautiful places. As far as LGBTQ, uh, we haven't had any issues in either place we took videos uh and pictures and no nobody said anything people were very kind there's really a lot kind. of um tourists here from like all over the world there's a lot of yeah. german tourists a lot of uk tourists american tourists so it's a very like Gosh. international place here yeah. very right? you see me on it yeah in como yes Zambian. yeah there was a lot of french people a lot of german people so it's very cool because Everyone is speaking different languages, and I feel like it's more open-minded than a typical small town in Italy. So, yeah, we have to go to Tuscany someday so that we can see how it is there, because I've never been to... <laughs> I've been to Florence, but that's about it. Anyways, thanks for hanging with us thanks. in this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed Sermione. Um, it's quite small, as you guys saw, and so is Lake Como. But there's different things you can do. Um, if you have any questions about either place, let us know in the comments, and we will be sure to answer them. As for the next vlog, we're headed to Serena's hometown of Naples.